All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, brothers that are laboring and pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with charity. I am the brother Abraham from the camp here in GM in Chicago, coming to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, Lord willing to be edifying. And, uh, in this lesson, um, what I want to go into is pretty much, uh, the blessing that, um, Jacob received, okay, um, going back to the story of Jacob and Esau, uh, last camp, the last camp that we had last Saturday, there was, uh, a northern kingdom guy that came up to speak with us and he had uh he had good questions he had uh sincere questions um and one of his questions was about um Jacob and Esau and uh he felt that Jacob received the blessing through fraud Okay, through deceit, through wrongdoing. But, I mean, it clearly tells you that um, the blessing was always meant to go to to Jacob. Okay, and um, I came across this on Quora. Quora. I think uh, this is a place where people ask questions and people respond with answers and stuff like this. Um, uh, so this is one of the comments, right? It says, Esau easily gave up the birthright because he had no idea of its spiritual value. The scripture blames Esau, not Jacob, who valued the position of the firstborn because of his spiritual and temporal blessings. When Esau was banned from receiving the heavenly blessing given by Isaac to Jacob, he falsely accused Jacob of stealing it from him. Often overlooked in this story is a part played by Rebecca. She knows better than anyone it is God's will that Esau will serve Jacob because God told her when she asked him in prayer. She played the role in this spiritual play demonstrating how salvation is experienced. She plays the Holy Spirit urging Jacob Playing a sinner to make haste to present sacrifice for God played by played by Isaac, and uh, I ca I kind of see the um direction they're going or the aspect they're trying to use with that. It says blood has been shed to use the skin of goat to cover Jacob, just as the blood of Yahweh Shai covers believers before God. Who like Isaac is blind to who is being blessed. And yeah I see where they're coming from with that angle. Um, uh, continues on to say. Uh, Jacob clothed in the elder son's robe. Dares to stand in the place of another to be blessed by a father. Who has the authority to bless or curse. He is blessed and promised. God will be with him before he ever does anything of significance for God um, and then this comment says there could be no doubt that Jacob was entitled to the blessing before the birth of the twins Yahweh has said to Rebecca the older will serve the younger later in harmony with the inclination that Yahweh has already foreseen and that had caused him to love Jacob more than, did, than he did Esau Esau, who sold his birthright to Jacob for just a bowl of stew. All right. Um, so, and also keep in mind that the Most High didn't ever come 
right after that. Um, and be like, hey, Jacob, that was wrong. You shouldn't have did that. You know? Like, <laughs> the most I never condemned Jacob for what he did. Because it was already uh, predestined to happen. The, the blessing was already... The blessing, the covenant, the promises, it was all what um when the most high had appeared unto Abraham at first, right, and promised him uh that he will be the father of many nations, that kings and priests shall come, a nation of kings and priests shall come out of thy loins, and uh you know, he even told Abraham that in uh Isaac shall thy seed be called. Isaac had what? Jacob and Esau. So out of these two sons, one of them will receive the blessing. And yet Esau came out first. But this is just the way the Most High had it set it up. Okay. Uh, this is Genesis 25. And... um. 22 and the children struggle with struggle together within her and she said if it be so why am i thus and again she went to inquire of the lord right because they were pretty much fighting each other in there and the lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Right? So two nations are in uh, Rebecca's womb. Two different people. One of them is going to be stronger than the other. As we can clearly see the difference. And the elder shall serve the younger. Esau came out first. Then Jacob. And... It was uh that was symbolic in itself. Uh, we could read that in Second Ezra six and nine. Lord willing, we'll get it. It says, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they call his name Esau, right? Which means red, and they describe Esau's way. Because that was strange, you know. Um, they didn't depict the way Jacob came out. Because uh, he came out normally. Right? Uh, Esau has no pigmentation. Uh, his skin is not white. But, you know, transparent. And which you could see the blood. Uh, when, you know, they get shy or nervous or... Embarrassed or, or something like that They get red Okay It says And after that came out his brother Out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel And his name was called Jacob And Isaac Was three score years old When she bare him And this was symbolic in itself And Jacob uh, Bringing down Esau Okay it says And the boys grew And Esau was a cunning hunter And a man of the field And Jacob was a plain man Dwelling in tents And Esau loved And es Isaac loved Esau Because he did eat of his venison But Rebekah loved Jacob And Jacob sought pottage And Esau came from the field And he was faint and Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he said, And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. And he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. 
does Esau despise his birthright? Okay, Esau despised his birthright and sold it to Jacob. Okay, so Esau thought, uh, obviously did not value the birthright. Okay, um, the significance of the birthright to just uh, sell it that easily for some pottage. Okay, and it says here in Hebrews 12 and 16, Let there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau for who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have re inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So this is... <laughs> The, the how the Most High describes Esau and how he feels about Esau. Okay, fornicated or profane person as Esau, who sold his birthright. He despised his birthright. All right. So this is Genesis 27. And um Let me see where I should start. Right, Genesis 27 and uh, 32 kind of want to get to the points because it is long a little bit. It says, uh, And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau, which is actually Jacob, right? And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten all before thou camest, and have blessed him, yet he shall be blessed. Or Esau, after Jacob received the blessing. Right? Uh, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also my father. Right? As it says in Hebrews 12. Um... For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. In verse 35 in Genesis 27, it says, And he said, Thy brother came with subtility and hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? Right? Which means a supplant. Let's go ahead to the blue letter. Right, Jacob, Yaquab, supplanter. Uh, it says one who wrongfully or illegally seizes and holds the place of another. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> Rightly named Jacob. Eradicate or supply a substitute for. To take the place of. Serve as a substitute for. Especially by reason of superior excellence or power. To supersede another. Especially by force or treacherously. All right, that's how pretty much Jacob is in general. <laughs> they be doing that. 
Um, but yeah, now going back to verse 36, and he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Has thou not reserved a blessing for me? All right, and and yeah, he did bless uh, Esau. He blessed him uh, with the dwelling. Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above, and that he shall live by the sword. Okay. Which uh, the sword, you know, goes into many things as far as destruction, weapons. You know, uh, Cain, uh, it, the word Cain means spear, which is a weapon. Esau's blessing was a sword, which is a weapon, right? And who in the earth today, you know, has all these military bases around the world, you know, uh, is involved in every damn war, destroying everything and anything, going into all these countries, and try to overthrow them and set up a corrupt government and their monetary systems. All right, who is this that transgresses by wine? Right? Neither keepeth at home. Right? Who is that? Who who is this people that uh the Bible describes as uh one that uh steals, kills, and destroys? Right to take peace from the earth, who what people have done that? It's, it's a, it ain't rocket science, man. Okay, so this was already meant to happen, and then you don't you didn't see the Most High come in, like hey, you know this wasn't supposed to happen, you know. Like Jacob, you shouldn't have did that. You know if something were, were wrong like that. Don't you think the Most High will intervene and set things straight? But no, because it, it was already meant for that to happen. All right, this is uh, Genesis 32 and 28. And he said, thy name shall be no more called Jacob, uh, shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. This is when Jacob wrestled for his blessing with the angel. And now uh, his name was changed to, uh, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which means prince of the power. Okay. Because it was always meant to be to Jacob. Okay. Uh, this is Malachi 1 and verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob. This is the Lord speaking. I have loved you, saith the Lord, right? And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Right? Uh, Rome, when Rome fell. And now what? They... Well, this is Rome all over again, right? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Okay? That's, you know, that's clear. That's to the point. You know, um, who the Most High hates and who the Most High loves. This is Romans 9 and 10. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth, it was said unto her, the elder, shall serve the younger as it is written jacob have i loved 
but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Okay, so Esau and Jacob, before they were born, the purpose of God was already set in place. All right. The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I saved. Hated. Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? No. Alright, let me get this precept here. and uh, was this, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 12. For who shall say, what hast thou done? Or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the nations that perish whom thou hast made? Or who shall come to stand against thee to, re to be revenged for the unrighteous men? So who, who can tell the Most High what, what he's doing? You know, what, what did you do? Why did you do that? Accuse him for certain things. He can do whatever he wants. All right. Now this is Second Ezra six. I'm gonna start at verse uh five. Now this whole sixth chapter from the from the top is the Most High saying before any of the things that we see in this world and all the foundations and everything created, he thought about it. All right, Second Ezra six and five, and ere the present years were sought out or Ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for treasure. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So if the Most High considered these things before they were created, right, the... <laughs> The predestination was already there. All right. The election of God was already um, decided. It was already set in place from the beginning. From Jacob's hand. Uh, holding Esau's heel. That was all symbolic. Okay, this is uh, Ephesians 1 and verse 4, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, right? Chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Mashiach Yahushai. To himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So yeah, this whole game is rigged, man. It's rigged. It's predestinated already. Since the beginning of anything. <laughs> to the praise of glory of, of his grace. Wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of grace. Wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself. Alright, so this is already <laughs> his purpose and his good pleasure. All right, uh, and then this is Psalms 105 and 
and um, 6. O ye seed of Abraham his servant, ye children of Jacob his chosen. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham, Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Okay, so that's the oath, the promise, the covenant. All right, that was always meant to be the way it is. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, through that line, through that seed. Okay. And yeah, that's the most high. That's the way the most high purposed it. That's the way the most high willed it. I said he considered these things since they were made or created. This was already meant to happen. All right. And everything uh, worked out through the spirit and will work out through the spirit. In the end, man, we already won. We already won this whole thing. Although at the moment it might not look like it, it might look like we losing. But we walked through by faith, not by sight, and we trust in his promises, we trust in his word, and we know that we're going to win in the end. We're already winning. He saw us losing. So yeah, this whole game is rigged. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Lord willing, this video was edifying. As always, all praises and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Until next time, Shalom.